Masters. Easiest master of my life. Hello everyone, Carlo here from Team Agranaut and this is the time of the season where we will be reaching Masters. So the deck that I used to reach Master is Draven Ezreal. So this deck is not in the tier list of swim but still this deck is very good in climbing this is a hard this is a hard deck to pilot but this is very rewarding if you can master how to play this deck and it could also be a helpful deck in building a tournament lineup if you are planning to join any tournaments so I recommend that you watch the whole video so that you can see how the deck is played correctly and I will be showing you the guide on how to play the cards on the different situations. So that is it for the introduction. I, ho I hope you will enjoy the gameplays and see you on the next video. So game 1 is uh, Leblanc Severe Reputation Deck. So the username is severe. Nice. We need jump blockers, that's why we keep the ballistic bot. And ballistic bot can grow bigger if we use its effect. And also we have a uh, stump dredger so that's a very good curve we can play ballistic bot at turn 2 and stump dredger at turn 3 so we can just take this for now and this is a uh, stump dredger turn So that's a very good top deck, Draven. This can attack because it has a bigger health than the opponent. So we can trade boards or the opponent will just take for damage. So this should be a Draven turn. By the way, this is this is I already played this game. I am just reacting to the, the party has reacting to the gameplay video. Danger pays. So this is a very very hard decision, but I need to block with the ballistic bot because I cannot take five damage. So sometimes, guys, you need to take blocks if you are using the Draven S deck because Draven S deck has no healing so you have to make sure that you are spending your HP correctly so far in terms of card we have the advantage to the opponent and we have the flock arachnoid sentry combo and that's a very good very good combo that can threaten to remove the severe so we are a little bit having a hard time with the opponent's deck because the opponent has spell shield but we have enough removal so all things considered we have a chance to win this game so I need to use this to pop the spell shield of the severe so that sure. next turn I can attack my flak combo Victory requires a sharp okay so that's uh, 
Five and Glory Seeker. Sand and trouble far as the eye. So this is uh this is this is a very important turn and with how we play this turn we can either lose or win the game. So far we have enough removals. We have Mystic Shot uh, get excited and static shock but we don't have enough mana to cast all of these removals so depending on the opponent so the opponent attacked with the the opponent challenged the SRL so we can block with the sound ranger to the ruin runner and we can destroy the severe with the flock after this turn we are we are ahead in terms of card advantage because the opponent will be at five cards while we have eight cards. So we are winning at the moment. So this this is a very good top deck. Damage. Damage can cycle our empty cards and replace it with the real ones. So we have Draven and Severe, another one. Now we can attack with Draven and uh, and the uh, Spider because we are threatening him some damage okay okay so that feels bad we don't have enough mana to counter this play we could just pop the spell shield of the severe So next turn the opponent has the attacking turn and Severe has quick attack. If he develops here, we can threaten to remove the Severe. Severe. Okay, so this turn I decided to get excited the Severe because the Severe has no spell shield anymore. Time so we, he has the blank. We, ha we have Mystic Shot in hand. Okay, so... We are winning at the moment. The opponent has two cards while we have potentially eight cards next turn. So we drop this Sump Dredger to look for more cards. And also increase the stock of the Tri-Beam Improbulator. And then drop this ballistic bot. So we have card advantage and board board advantage. So the opponent surrenders. So easy win. Road to masters. So four more wins. Okay, Fiora Shen. For me, this matchup is even. It depends on the player who plays the, who pilots the deck. So for the opening hand, okay. So guys, if you see a tri beam on your opening hand, it is always, it is always needed to be kept 
You always need to keep try beam improv later because that's a very good value. If you have the try beam improv later as early as possible. And then on the next turn uh, I drop the ballistic bot because it gives us a discard father Fiora I'm thinking of get excited ding the Fiora but we will be really punished if the opponent has sharp sight and based on the Based on how he dropped the Fiora, he dropped it too fast. That means that the opponent is sure that he can protect his Fiora. So that means he has Sharp Sight or Nopify. So dropping the Draven is the safer play here. Okay, so next turn. I think open attacking with Draven is fine here because if he tries to barrier the Fiora we have some something that can ping the Fiora we have static shock and static shock if we static shock a Fiora during uh, during this combat and he blocks it he doesn't have anything that can protect the Fiora and Draven can kill the Fiora because it because it has quick attack so I am pretty sure that Attacking with the Draven is the best play here because the opponent has no answer. So he tempos, he drops the Shen. I played uh, Ignition Pass here and then I will be ending the turn because if we get too greedy we will be punished. Okay, so we can increase the attack of the ballistic bot by giving it an axe. And then we can try to ping the Fiora. We have Mystic Shot and get excited. So he has 6 hand cards and we need to try to check what is in the hand of the opponent. Okay, so he has no P5. Okay, so probably the only punish could be deny or deny or no P5. Another no P5. So we can get excited here to check if the opponent has no P5 and force force him to use that that no P5 or deny. What are you waiting for? Okay, so... So we get excited. We get excited. We also get excited. So that we can increase the the stack of tri beam improbulator. Okay, so the opponent has no answer. Fiora dies. So we just pass and see. Okay, so he has another Fiora. So at this point of time. 
we are sure that the opponent has no deny and no pify. So we uh, okay. So so guys, you need to do that. You need to do hand reading to be better at playing the game and checking what cards the opponent has have can help you play around what are the possible cards that the opponent have in their hands so even if he sharp sights this the Fiora can die with Scorch Earth because we are sure that the opponent has no deny and no pify so even if he barriers that Fiora it will still die to the Scorch Earth So our tribe beam improbulator is getting bigger. I find them unworthy. So he open attacks with total of six da six damage, and then we try beam the Shen. We need to try beam the Shen as early as possible before the opponent could draw a deny. And then we had a very very high roll Ruin Runner, one of the best cards of this expansion. So a very good curve, we are drawing some Dredger and we have Spare Axe to be the discard father. Okay so the opponent drops the Tiana, we drop the Spider to stun the Tiana. So if he attacks Okay so we need to attack Because we are threatening lethal here The opponent has no other choice but to Block and Left with 3 damage Okay, so he drops the Bright Steel formation, but luckily we have enough jump blockers to block these big boys. Okay, so let's block the other. Okay, so guys, uh, I made a misplay here. Do not do this because if the opponent has sharp sight, we, we will be losing the game. But luckily, we, the opponent has no sharp sight. So do not do risky blocks like that because that would cost you the series, the game, if you will be doing those, those risky plays. Be sure to block properly. Okay, so we have Ezreal and we have Arachnid Sentry. Arachnid Sentry can threaten the level up of Ezreal. And we have enough mushrooms to burst kill the opponent. So this is a uh, easy win. Easy win. So three more games to reach master. We are we are at 40 LP. Like my name. Next game. Next game is TF Fizz. Everyone's favorite deck. Me also use TF Fizz from Platinum to Diamond because it is very broken and it is so fun to play. But at Diamond, many players in Masters and Diamonds are playing the Trandel Lissandra deck. So I decided to play a different deck to reach Master. But still, TFS is a very good deck. And it is really hard to pilot. So we can attack with the Ballistic Bot here. But I decided to pass.
So the this turn is a Draven turn. Draven, the next turn will be the some Dredger turn. The very insane tempo. So that is one of the strong points of Ezreal and Draven deck because of the insane amount of card advantage you could get and board advantage you can get if you have the perfect perfect curve <laughs> My brain lagged for a little bit. If you have the perfect curve, you can get an insane board advantage and card advantage because of the power of the Sump Dredger. Plus, you have Tri Beam Improbulator that subtracts one of the units from the opponent and adds one, one unit on your board, and that is one of the best ways to control the board so, so the very important thing to consider if you are playing against TFs and you are driven as well is uh, you need to make sure that you keep your static shock because that is very helpful that saves you so much HP and also uh, it is a little bit of a race between damaging the opponent and you being destroyed by the elusives so make sure that you need to consider if you will be using your removals to s to kill the elusives or using your removals to damage the opponent's nexus okay so for me this is a misplay on the part of the opponent using timeline on a fizz tf deck is a very very bad move because that turns your elusive into a different different unit and i am pretty sure that there is a low odds low chance that the unit that it will be turned into will no longer be elusive so we have so far we have insane amount of burn on our hand that can use to destroy the nexus of the opponent so so far we have two plus three five so five damage from get excited and mystic shot plus one from static shock is six damage so we are just looking for four more damage and ballistic bot gives us one damage so at this point of the game we are pretty sure that we will be winning this game because we have enough burn that can go to the face of the opponent insane oh my god so this is this is a game we'll just attack and we activate the ignite and next turn we'll just boom boom pow the opponent with mystic shot mystic shot get excited that is that that's really a misplay on the opponent Activating concurrent timeline in a Fizz TF deck. So what if you summon the Burbul Fish? It will be a zero, zero what? It will become a costly cost. It could become 
pesky specter so that's very 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 wrong from the opponent the opponent is giving me a free win for masters and i will be thanking him for that so we'll just mystic shot mystic shot get excited and then we we'll go to the next game Okay, so we fast forward and then Mystic Shot makes Six Shot get excited. Then the opponent will surrender because he's a very good guy. <laughs> that is easy win. So two more games before we reach master. So we are up against Lissandra uh, Trundel. So this deck is the reason why I stopped playing TF Fizz because it is very very hard to play against Lissandra Trundel if you are TF Fizz because they have Avalanche, Blighted, I forgot the name of the landmark that deals to to everyone and then they also has ice shard so they have all the all the ways to kill a tf fizz you name it, I'll nick it. wow if this champak pickpocket connects this could be insane so i will open attack with that with this pickpocket because the value is so insane and what could we get we could get uh, ruination uh, vengeance those are the good cards that you can get if we yoink the opponent yoink. wow ruination insane then we will be dropping this raven Okay, so he passed. He passed. Okay, so he drops this blighted ravine. ravine. We need to scorch earth that to protect our champunk pickpocket and summon another champunk pickpocket and the value will be very very good for us champunk the, the next turn of course open attack so we will be jamming this pickpocket open attacking the opponent and if he has ice shard and withering will good for him but if not he will be giving me insane cards wow just wow we have the revitalizing roar and vengeance so we'll take this then we can keep our tempo we could drop the Sump Dredger and discard one of the Axes. So that's nice. That's very nice. So he drops the Tavern Keeper. We could drop this some treasure because if he avalanches, three of our units survives. And 
that's not bad for us so probably this is avalanche that's fine if he avalanches because we have too many cards on our hand and in terms of cards we are favored so he doesn't he does not activate the avalanche because he doesn't have it he goes for the grass of the undying we will be going for the kill we will be dropping the tri-beam improbulator to this to summon something big hopefully ruin runner but jack the winner i will take this So I think I need to use the thermo beam here because we will have too many cards on our hand and we will burn some of our cards. So thermo beam here should be used so that we will have a space for more cards. So the opponent seems missing. Maybe he does not. He cannot absorb the pressure of the pickpockets. So. So this is a uh, win. I'm sure this e this is easy win because the opponent cannot take it anymore. He surrenders. He cries. In, he cries his eyes out. Easy win. One more game. One more game, and then less than a week we reach masters. Oh, two more games. Okay, so two more games. That's fine. At this point, I am checking. At this point of recording, I am checking if my teammates are queuing up or playing. Because if I bumped into them, that would be disastrous. Because both of us are tryharding to reach master. Okay, so this is... Uh, Overwhelmed it. Draven Darius in Churima. This is overwhelmed deck. So we need to keep the <laughs> Chempunk so that because it is a good jump blocker. And also Ballistic Bot should be kept because it is also a good jump blocker. So how spider we can drop this ballistic bot. So he passed the next turn. So a very good top deck driven. So we can attack here. Because Draven has quick attack and that could also give us one more discard father. Okay, so he blocks the mini spider. Wow. So I'll take this. For me, this is a very expensive play. But I'll take that. 
that's expensive because that could potentially reach my face so i'll take that that he used that noxian fervor into my draven and having one axe is already a good value with Raven. so we he drops this grenadier we could drop champ punk for a champ blocker okay so he goes for the emperor dice we have we have ignite the ignite pass So we can we can block one of the sand soldiers with our champ pack and keep keep a champ blocker for future use. So this is a this is just a champ pump turn. We don't have other place. So this is a good attack for us because the opponent could either block or take the damage. He chose to take the damage so that he could have units that can trigger the, effe the effect of Emperor Dice. So we have Static Shock that could potentially kill some of the Sun Soldiers. Wow. So be. this looks a little bit spooky. But we could threaten to kill the Azir with Static Shock plus Escort. Shireen, see what I see. Carry it with you. Emperor, I am honored. So we need to kill this Azir before it level ups because if it level levels up we could not kill that anymore and that Azir has a high potential of leveling up because of its effect and the effect of the landmark emperor dies. So we could take 4 damage here and jump block one of the sun soldier. We can also kill one of the one of the landmarks to decrease the sun soldiers that are giving us damage. So it is my turn to attack. I drop this I drop this tri-beam tri improbulator to look for cards and increase our board advantage into the opponent so he drops the grenadier We can attack now. So So this is a very questionable play on my part, I think. Because the opponent Because the opponent dropped a unit. But that's fine because he dropped a uh, Ruin Runner as a defender. But we can kill the Ruin Runner with our spare axe that we have in our hand. 
Okay. So, 8 damage. Okay, so the opponent drops his Pharon. Luckily, we have our own Pharon. And they can smash each other. So if if we don't have Captain Pharon at this turn, probably we will be losing the game. But good players draw their cards at the right time. So what can I say? Easy win. Okay, so next turn, let's just open attack and then activate one of the decimates and then kill the opponent. So overkill, we have overkill on our hand. So easy win. Yeah. ATLP One more win to reach master within a week. Okay, so timeline for Corina. So the last game is the timeline deck and this deck uh, I uploaded a video about this deck. You can check that on my on my channel and this this video of mine about the timeline deck is the my most viewed video of all time reaching uh, 900 views at this point and I'm very happy because that is my first time receiving those amount of views I just started YouTubing last year and on my previous channel I, I am not having views that are exceeding 100 views but uh, when I uh, when I started my own channel in February and then at the start I am the only one who is watching the videos until the next expansion I made a video about Ledros Dreadway timeline combo and that video spike and Come closer. I don't from that fight. point I am having consistent viewers viewers that are exceeding 100 views and I am very happy and I am very thankful to Ledros and Dreadway for giving me that opportunity and if you want to check that out, you can go to the videos of my channel and you can see new Dreadros, Dreadway Ledros combo that has very insane gameplay and that was when I was in Platinum 4. Now I am in Master and I will be playing meme decks while enjoying the game because I am already at master and while preparing from any tournaments I will be posting videos once I reach 100 views so that is my uh, always that is always my goal if I reach a hundred views I am making another video in my previous channel uh, the videos are not not exceeding 20 views and I I made I made, I made another channel and then tried to give a uh, very insane quality videos of my insane gameplays and to my 28 subscribers uh, 20 among that are my friends my teammates my girlfriend and I think 8 8 to 15 probably are genuine subscribers thank you for watching the video and I hope that uh, our channel will grow in the future because of the subscribers that are subscribing to my channel I am very 
I am very happy and I am very inspired to make insane decks every time I am reaching a hundred views so uh, to, to my subscribers or if you are not yet subscribed if you if you have reached this point of video thank you very much comment down um, comment down Carlor so that I can see if you have finished the video but if not that's fine that happens to the best of us so we will be killing this Vi with our scorched earth doesn't he doesn't have anything to counter this scor scorched earth play because of this region combination so he will just go for the fade away vile feast so we have advantage in terms of cards we have eight cards while the opponent has four four cards plus one mini spider so this should be an open attack so that play is very expensive he spent two cards to kill my Ezreal so I'll just take this and I still have another Ezreal on my hand so this is not a problem so we can drop this juicy Captain Faron and try to start trying to deal damage to the opponent timeline okay okay so I think we we are going to lose but fortunately this is already recorded and we already reached master so there are things that you can remember there these are the things that you need to remember if the opponent drops commander ledros with a timeline so if the opponent is choosing within within two seconds that means that the opponent has the red way but if the opponent is taking so long that means that the opponent has no has no red way so now we can drop all these burn spells to the opponent and then try to kill him kill him slowly so another nickname of Ezreal Draven is slow burn because we are burning him slowly we have mystic shot get excited decimate ignite those are those are slow burns that is the reason why this deck is called slow burn so we can drop the Ezreal here level up animation and then next turn we will drop all our damage to kill the opponent okay so the first the first action here must be open attack to generate a mystic shot and this mystic shot adds to the to our damage pool and then drop this mystic shot this fleeting mystic shot to see if the opponent will respond to something okay so he goes for the withering whale vale. now we, we we must drop this decimate because decimate is a slow slow spell okay and then nine more damage so he goes for the ever shade stalker so it turns into a life steal we have we still have a spare mystic shot to throw it into the opponent's face okay 
And then he goes for the Zone Knight Urchin. So now, uh, we need to play this correctly to maximize the damage. The old me will just thermo beam there, but the new me will rummage first before we thermo beam to have one more mini damage. So that damage comes a long way. We could potentially be losing if we will be falling short on the damage category. So we we will drop this mystic shot. This is lethal, but the opponent has two cards, so we need to respect what cards the opponent could have. So what is that card? Withering Whale. So we have get excited to sure to make sure that the opponent is dead. So he has one more card. So vengeance. So we have get excited. Another get excited. So covered in all angles, easy win, masters. So we can play, we can now play meme decks and prepare for tournaments because we are already in master. Easy win. Ma 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 masters easiest master of my life so um, every season i am reaching master and as season goes by i am reaching masters at a faster faster pace i am very inspired in reaching master so that I can see my name on the leaderboard. This is one of the reasons why I am inspired in going to master as fast as I can. And as you can see, there are different friends and BLCK AG. I'm very happy with how this how Legends of Runeterra is evolving because as you can see the top players in my friend list are has a prefix on their name and those prefix represents their respective teams so in my case we are i am from team agronaut 